Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joe from Fandroid. It's already the end of the first week of August, and that means we've got five more apps and games for you to check out this week. Let's get started. Sometimes you're doing something and you want your screen to stay on longer than whatever you have it set. Maybe it's a minute or 30 seconds, and you want it to stay on for a while so you can see what you're doing. Caffeine is an app that goes in your quick settings tile, and all you gotta do is tap it, and you can add five minutes screen on time, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or just keep it on infinitely, and then turn it off when you're done. So it's a really quick and easy way to change your screen on time without going into the settings and changing it permanently. It's called Caffeine. Gratis is an app that aims to remind you of the things that you're grateful for. So when you open the app, you get this little timeline of things that you can add. So here's one, I added a picture of my uh, dog Cheddar. If you wanna add something, just tap the plus button. You can tag things. So let's, let's say that I'm thankful for some food. I'm thankful for pizza. And then you can add a picture or take a picture if you want. You can change the little icon here. So I'll change it to food, tap save. And then you can go into the options and every day you can get a reminder of one of these things. So uh, maybe you're feeling down uh, or maybe you just want a daily reminder that there are good things in your life. You'll see this pop up in your notifications, something that you're thankful for, and then it'll remind you. So it's just a kind of a nice little app to just remind you of things in your life that are good in case you need a reminder of that. It's called Gratis. Read is a very simple, bare bones RSS reader. It doesn't have a ton of fancy features, but it does what you need. So here's the unread screen here, just pulling things from all my subscriptions. I can open up the menu and here are my subscriptions. So we've got Fandroid right here. This is what an article view looks like and I can go to the website from there. If I wanna add some more, I just go to add. Here are the ones that I've got. Go over to feed and search for something. Say I wanna add the wire cutter. There we go check that and now it's going to be right here in my feed and so it's just very simple you still got some pictures and stuff right here um, but the ui is pretty clean it's easy to use doesn't have a lot going on if you just want a very simple rss reader this is a good one launch space is hard is a very aptly named game because space is hard in this game all you do is you're launching a rocket and you're trying to get it to go as high as you can. But as you're gonna see here, uh, it does not want to stay straight. Uh, so you have to tap on the left or the right side of the screen to kind of get it to go straight. Um, but it's, it's really, really hard to get it to go straight as you can see. I'm not just terrible at this game, it actually is this hard. Um, but there's these little diamonds on the side. Okay, I just crashed. And that kind of keeps track of how, how, how you're going. Um, so I just got two right there, but my high score is 28. Once you get high enough, um, there's also a thing that'll pop up uh, that'll let you do another uh, action, um, but it's really hard to get all the way up there. Um, okay, there, I just crashed again. Uh, it's called Launch Space is Hard. It's difficult, but it is fun and it is addictive. Kubo is a game all about colored blocks. So you have this block on the bottom here, this cube, and you can rotate it and you see that the colors on the sides are different. And if I hit play, there's gonna be colors coming down from the top, so green, I need to get the green face up so that it lands on that. Okay, I just lost. Um, so that's the idea, is you get the colored cubes that are falling from the top to land on the correctly colored face of the cube on the bottom. And you can move it around like this, uh, but it's kind of hard to get it in the right spot. And you have to remember where the colors that you want are on the cube so you can get to them quickly. Now, as the game progresses, the sides of the cube will change colors and the cubes will start falling faster and it gets a little bit more difficult. So let's just see how far I can get here. Okay, there a purple just came in. Uh, okay. Um, so my record is 13. It's a pretty difficult game, but it is fun and it's called Cubo. So that's our list for this week. Hopefully you guys found some of these apps and games fun and useful. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. In the meantime, you can find more videos in our playlist and you can subscribe to the Fandroid channel for more videos like this in the future. We'll see you next time.